Hi everyone, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. In this tutorial, we are doing an acorn painting. It's perfect for kids or an, a beginner acrylic painter who is just starting out. So for this painting, we'll need some different brushes, a flat one inch brush, a number six round brush, and a smaller round brush uh, for details. And that just means round brushes come to a point. We need a cloth rag. I'm using some acorns to reference, but you can follow along to this tutorial, or you can go collect some acorns or find a picture of acorns. I have a cup of water and I have some different acrylic paints. I've got the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, some black and some white paint. I'm painting on a piece of watercolor paper. You can paint on a canvas or canvas board. It's up to you. So with my flat one inch brush, I'm just going to paint my background. I'm going to be doing some green. So I'm just going to be doing this kind of abstract. So just adding in some yellow and then I'm going to mix in some blue. And I'm just painting in all kinds of different directions. I have a bit of water on my brush because I'm painting on watercolor paper. So I'm adding some washes too. And this is just gonna make my background look nice and textured and abstract. You can do whatever background you want. You can use any colors you would like. I'm using browns for my acorn, so you might want to choose to do a different background than a brown background. Then you can paint over some sections that need an extra coat. And when you're happy with that, you can go ahead and let it dry and then we will add our acorn on top. All right, so now that our background is dry, we can begin to draw out and start painting our acorn. So to draw out our acorn, I like using a piece of colored chalk because you can easily paint over it or you can wipe away the chalk when you're done um, drawing the acorn after you've painted it and the paint is dry. So acorns come in all different shapes and sizes so you can go ahead and draw your acorn. So they have a little stem at the top And they have a little point at the bottom there. So once you're happy with that, you can leave that and we will paint that in. If you're not happy with it, just wipe away the chalk and try drying it again. That's okay. <clears throat> so with our acorn, there's lots of different browns in them. So we're going to be mixing a variety of browns. And I've linked a resource of how to paint different skin tones, different browns, different peaches and oranges in the description of this video to help you if you're struggling with mixing browns. So to paint our acorn, I'm gonna be using my number six round brush. And I'm just going to be starting to mix different browns. So I'm going to be mixing all of my primary colors, red, yellow, and blue together. And then I can add some white and some black to that. But first I'm just going to paint the base 
have my acorn. I can get my brush a little bit wet so that I have a nice crisp line. You're, wanna, you're gonna wanna do a couple coats of that just to make sure that it's fully covered, but we're gonna let that dry. And we're going to do the top part of our acorn, which is a little bit darker. my primary colors together again to create brown and then I'm gonna add some black to that now we have a nice dark brown for the top of our acorn and you can add a couple coats of this base coat as well Just wet your brush so that you can paint a nice smooth edge. We're going to let that dry and then add a second coat afterwards. Now we can start painting a second coat of our base coats and adding some details to our acorn. So I'm just adding this lighter brown and I'm doing a second coat so that it's fully covered before I add some highlights and shadows. So now that that's covered, we can start to mix in some highlights. So I'm just gonna take some white paint and mix that in with the brown that we already have. And I can just kind of blend it in. Since the acorn is kind of round, I'm just gonna use short little brush strokes and kind of curve them.
like that. I'm going to switch to my detail brush so that I can paint some of the texture that is on the acorn top. And it's kind of a swirly design. So you can kind of make little U shapes, kind of like a scallop. And fill those in. Then you can leave some space with the dark brown, letting that show underneath. I'm just adding some different browns doing some darker browns towards the right side and some lighter browns on the left side. And we're just going to go ahead and let that dry before adding some details and finishing up. All right, so now that our layer has dried, we're going to go in and paint some details. So try mixing a bunch of different browns. I'm going to be using my detail brush just to add some different details and textures um, and browns with that. So I'm going to mix some white to get a nice light brown. And again, I'm just doing short little strokes and kind of curving them. can add some different browns up at the top here, fill in my little shapes.
the medium brown, I'm just going to add a bit of highlight to the stem. And once you're happy with it, you can stop. You can paint some oak leaves in the background if you wanted to, or you could add like a stem and a tree branch to your acorn if you would like, or you can just leave it as is. I would love to see your painting. Be sure to tag me at Jackie Partridge Art, like this video, and leave a comment of what you would like to see next. Happy painting. Bye.